make a Sheila, probably the sixth video. Um, I've done the uh, the congressry big section of the um, strawberry line, the long stretch, very long against the sun. It took me an hour and a half um, to do that at a slow pace, stopping, you know, resting, not rushing. It was total tr plod. And I can remember cycling down this hill back down to Puxton and back home to Weston on my bike. Doesn't mean I won't do it again. This is one of my favourite cycles this way. <sighs> I'm not rushing it at the moment. I'm taking my time before I go back cycling. Let's get this heart thing um, identified and whatever first. Now, the, what I've said loads of times, you can't record on the camera smell. This is rich sewage. This is. Over this wall of the bridge, we've got the sewage lakes. Now, I'm going to zoom into Congress Free Church, where I was an hour and a half, two hours ago. There's Congress Free Church with a spirelet. I was doing the church, I went inside it, I did the graves, I did the churchyard. Right behind it is Cadbury Hill. That right behind it is Cadbury Hill and then you've got um, over there, it's like a gap and then you've got another hill which is Kingswood and called Julian Hill I believe. But this is the sewage works. I'll just zoom in to this bit here. You can see all the flurry and the surrey. That's the separating it all out and you've got sediment to sediment places as well. But it's, it smells. But of course there's a lot of apple trees around here. This is cider country now. Um, this has been taken over big time by a big cider firm and I've seen some new orchards as well um, off the strawberry line. There's always been one down there but they've extended further down now as well. But this, you've got ducks on, on there. Oh god it stinks. Not so bad here, downwind. So there you go, I can, I've, with the naked eye I can actually see Yatton Church further over that way. But I've yet to do that hill there. And I will do it one day. There is a gap. There's a gap there. So I reckon I have to get off the bus somewhere up there. I'll work it out. I'll find out. And I, I want to do the top. I need to do that hill. It's one of my plans. It's on my list. Right, if we just cross the road and look over the other side of the bridge, we'll be going up that way. We're going to go along over there in a minute and then towards Winscombe, wherever it is. Um, I'm not quite sure where it is at the moment. Something big coming. Yeah, so I'm going to be picking up the strawberry line again in a minute. It's down the bottom of this little hill here. I just heard a lorry. That's probably a cider lorry. So I saw the sewage works here. And in a minute we'll be joining up the strawberry line again. And then I've decided I probably... Though Sanford's just here. Um, I will be walking past Sanford Railway, old railway station, which is a museum now. And then I'll be going on to Winscombe, because I really want to time it, really. So that if I was going to do some walking, I know roughly how long it takes to walk it at a steady pace, not a racing pace. It's got to be steady plod. Not fast. Not fast walking. That's why I probably couldn't go off with a group of walkers. I probably couldn't go off with a group of walkers because so they'd go too quick, probably. Right, I'm on a 
there is the white is the white van man that coming along country lane the white van man so this is all orchards around here this is some called farm watch it's a protected area old telegraph pole there Yeah, look at this, this is all cider country, this is. And that's all to do with the cider farm, all that in there. The machinery and whatever that is in there. But of course, everything happens quickly when you're on a bike. You get there, I mean, it seems like it's only just up here, but it's probably further up than I think. Old farm. Wonder if they still do cows. Drove away farm. Yeah, looks nice. Old farm that would be. Because a lot of them turned into cider apple farmers, you know. Make more money than milking cows. I sound of it. Of the price that supermarkets go for the cheaper milk from abroad. That lovely oak tree there, and that lovely, that lovely rich colour. That is beautiful, that is, isn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. But he's been there a while. A bit of, this is an apple tree. Look. See the blossom on this apple tree. This one wants. This will have apples on it eventually. These are privileged ones here, aren't you? Bit of old farm machinery, look. Threshing machines. And... It's good to actually video the country lane as well. Because you actually get boy racers out here, or yuppies. See, he was a, he had a sports car. He did slow up a bit. But that is a, so you can have this pretty country lane look. And then you get that coming along. So I'm just doing a bit of the countryside. Obviously I'm short, so you probably can't see quite above the hedgerows here. But I can see like the back of um, what will be leading up to Crook's Peak right over there. That's the way I'll be going that way. There's an orchard. Let's just go in and have a look. There's the old farm. That was probably inside cider as well. You can see the vastness of it if you stand in here, see? And there we've got trees over there. They've got mistletoe. Those big bunches aren't nests. If you want mistletoe at Christmas, those is where you have to look for that sort of thing. And there we go. Kingswood and Julian's Hill there in front of us. Yet to be explored. Lots of oak trees. It's very, very English around here. Very English. You can and then you've got the cider. We should be turning off in a minute. We should be turning off. Right, I'm going to turn off anyway, because I, I'll come back on when I've reached the place where I've got to turn off. Like I said, on a bike, when you're on a bike, you get somewhere a lot quicker. Now, when you've got to walk it, you think, God, it takes you four times as long. Over and out. <laughs>